Well, we are outside the Johannesburg High Court where Thabo Besta and Dr. Nandi Pamakujumana's legal team will be um, submitting an application and basically this application is essentially about them uh, prohibiting Showmax from um, airing um, a documentary that was meant to be aired today. So as you're hearing there, more legal battles for Nandipa Magudumana and Thabo Besta, their lawyers heading to the High Court in Johannesburg today to take on entertainment giant multi-choice. The court will hear their urgent interdict to block the release of the tracking Thabo Besta docuseries. And this comes on the same day that the documentary is set to air on show Max. And last week, the pair wrote to multi-choice demanding that they view this four-part documentary before it's released. However, the broadcast company refused, and their lawyers are arguing that streaming the docuseries may cause irreparable harm as the pair didn't authorize it. Tracking Tabo Besta looks at the May 2022 prison escape of the convicted rapist and murderer and is set to show Magudumana's role in the daring escape. All right, Zola, you're live for us outside court where all of this goes down. And just to go back, I mean, it is crunch day because it's supposed to premiere. It's supposed to go ahead. We already get signals uh, that the broadcaster does not want to, um, you know, does not want to pull that particular docuseries. So how are things likely to unfold in court today? Well, Iman, a lot is expected to happen today. Um, Tabo Besta and Dr. Makudumana's legal team will be given um, a platform to address the court as to why this matter is urgent. As you'd understand that um, a couple of days ago they had submitted, um, you know, to the court basically saying that they are prohibiting Showmax and MultiChoice from um, airing this documentary that has been long awaited by so many people, which was meant to be aired today. And uh, Tabo Besta. Um, and his legal team have mentioned their concerns around the airing of this document, um, essentially saying that, in fact, even before bringing forward concerns, they would actually want to view it first and get to see what is there. And obviously, um, that has not been possible for them. But uh, one of the biggest challenges or concerns that um, his legal team has raised was the fact that, um, obviously, there could be information or content that could be put out there, and obviously that could uh, possibly you know, implicates the current case that is currently going on where Tabo Besta and Dr. Makudumana are defending themselves. And he also spoke about the fact that um, he did not engage in any conversations uh, with uh, Show Max as to, you know, um, documenting his life and also putting um, such information out there. And obviously, from today's court proceedings, we will be finding out um, if, you know, um, Show Max will be given a go-ahead or rather will continue um, from broadcasting this documentary but what we do know is that Showmax and MultiChoice are not backing down um, you know, from you know, putting this uh, documentary out there saying that it is a matter of public interest and obviously uh, the public, you know, it's important for them to watch and make their own view of it. Really interesting, Zola, we all know that when the saga was unfolding last year and uh, they were on the run, there was intense public interest. And if you look at the trailer, at least insofar as what's been released, a lot of it seems to be a tapestry of what was already in the public domain. Do we know if there's anything new or some explosive interviews that the, their legal team might be, um, you know, might be worried about, uh, given, as I say, this uh, massive public interest in their, in their story? Well, from, you know, the snippet that we have seen of the documentary, Iman, we understand that some of the people that are part of the documentary, for example, uh, Dr. Marco Dumana's brother, um, you know, is part of that documentary, and he's also one of the state witness, uh, state witness rather. And uh, we do understand that that, w that is one of the biggest concerns of Tabo Besta and Dr. Marco Dumana's legal team to say um, anything that could be said on that documentary could, you know, perhaps, you know, change things in this current trial that is um, actually ongoing. Hence, they had asked to, you know, be given the opportunity to view um, this documentary before it is aired by Showmax. So, Shalwana, thank you very much. Uh, we will keep the nation updated on developments at the South Gauteng High Court, which is where you are standing today. And uh, as soon as court begins, we will take you there as well.